Yeah. Exercise is always important for health. It is especially important in Parkinson's disease. People with Parkinson's disease tend to have periods when they're more immobile and tend not to move so much. We believe that regular exercise, exercising the joints, keeping up muscle tone is extremely important for the well-being of patients with Parkinson's disease. Exercise has been a fundamental part of human existence for thousands of years. Today's research has shown us that a more active lifestyle will improve the way our heart and lungs work, keep us more mobile, increase the strength of our muscles, and even reduce the percentage of body fat. More importantly, however, exercise allows us to carry out the everyday tasks of life more easily and helps us to look forward to an independent future. Daily exercise is especially important for everyone with Parkinson's disease. For some, this could result in improved mobility. For others, it will certainly help maintain mobility and reduce the need for dependence upon other people in carrying out their daily activities. In addition, exercise can help you sleep better, improve your mood, and lead to a greater feeling of well-being. There are three major types of exercises which you need to be aware of. Aerobic or endurance exercises, strengthening exercises, and of particular importance in Parkinson's disease, flexibility or stretching exercises. To be most effective, exercise should become part of your daily routine, just like cleaning your teeth or having a shower. If you are unable to exercise every day, try to follow the routine in this video as often as possible. Before starting any exercise program, or if you experience any problems such as pain, dizziness or shortness of breath, you should seek the advice of your medical practitioner. Before you try the exercises, watch the video all the way through to familiarise yourself with the routines. Take it easy and don't be over ambitious to start with. in for the arm lift, breathe out for the forward lean. Arm lift and forward lean. Just enjoy the sensation of this total movement. Let the body follow on the breath and go with the music. Let your arms go as far back as is comfortable. stretch, stretch out gently to each side. Allow your head and neck to become part of the movement. Remember to keep lifted in the middle. Feel the stretch along the side of your ribs. From side stretch to elbow bends. Hands up, hands down. Keep your elbows as high as possible aware of the movement in the shoulder joint. Move forward to shoulder touch, up to neck touch, forward to shoulder touch and up to neck touch. Elbows back, feel the stretch. the elbows. Relax into the forward bend. Move into side stretch and back touch. To neck touch, to back touch. Let the head move into the movement. Keep the elbows back. Swing forward into arm lifts and now 
relax to forward bends. Arm lifts and to forward bends. Go on the breath, arms as far back as is comfortable. chest opening move into shoulder touches and neck touch shoulder touch and neck touch stretching the chest open The next routine will focus on exercises to help strengthen the postural muscles and maintain the mobility of the spine on the pelvis. The spine needs to be well supported and the upper spine and shoulders to be kept straight. This routine will consist of pelvic tilting, pelvic rotation, bending and stretching of the lower and upper spine. Begin by sitting forward on the edge of the chair, feet flat, hands on knees.
and again spinal lift. Drop to sag, forward up to lift. Remember the stretch and lift should be felt in your daily posture. Pelvic circling. This routine will begin to work you a little harder and will focus on trunk and leg exercises. Keep to half speed if you are more comfortable. The important thing is to find and keep a good rhythm. Sit forward in the chair and allow plenty of leg room. Do get help if you feel you need it for this routine. Let's begin with chair walk and back, use the elbows and reach forward towards the knees into foot pedals, alternate toes and heels, pedal with the feet. Straightening out your legs, move into knee presses, alternatively Pressing down the back of the knees gently. Hold the sides of the chair for safety. Move into side heel touches. Keep the legs straight and heel touch to each side. Come back into a march, marching on the chair and back into a chair walk. Use the elbows. Feel the reach across. Foot pedals. Feel those heels and toes moving. Stretch out and knee press. Pushing gently down behind the back of the knee. Side heel touch. Lift out. Leg straight. into marching and go with the music and back into chair walk. Keep the head forward and move into foot pedal. And knee press. stretch and move out into heel touch. Strong knees, straight legs. And chair march and go with the music. Speed up as you feel the skipping rhythm.
the next routine will concentrate on the shoulders. The exercises will bring in rotation movements of the shoulders, so pay particular attention to which way the palms of the hands are facing. In preparation, sit back on the chair and sit up straight. Lift your arms up and out into the chest expander. Stretch, stretch, through and out and stretch, stretch. Move as far back as you can go with your palms facing forward. Feel the front of your chest opening up. Stretch the right arm back into a wide circle. Make sure your head follows the movement. Close the fingers to the front and open to the back. Back into the chest expander, stretch. Stretch and stretch. Circling the left arm into a wide circle. Turning the head to follow through. Using the hand from closed fingers at the front to opening wide to the back of the circle. Moving into the stretch. Feel the chest open wide. the elbow out fully. Be aware of the stretch on the front of your chest. Left arm circle, stretching the arm out fully. following the movement with your head and forward into arm swings. And a full chest stretch. Into wrist touches. Back touch and forward touch. Back touch and forward touch. Feel the movement in your shoulders. Tap hands. Thighs, hands. And back touch, forward touch. Back touch, forward touch. And under knee touch. Under knee touch, into back touch. Shake hands and relax your wrists. As you move into standing, make sure that your feet are firmly placed behind your knees. Push up to standing and sit. Push smoothly through. This freestanding routine is for balance and coordination. Enjoy the beat and the rhythm. You will need a rod, broom handle or a length of doweling. Hold the rod out in front of you at arm's length.
and promenade. Circle round. Step together for eight. To the square. To the side and back. To the side. And circle promenade. Step, step, round we go. To the square, to the side, and back. To the side. Circle promenade, changing sides. Step, step, round you go. To the square and left together, back together, to the side together. Round we go, circle promenade. And to the square. Back to the side. Step forward. Step back. Step forward and back. Marching on the spot. Side step to the side. Back to the side. Circle promenade. Front, to the side, step back, to the side, and circle promenade. To the square, to the side, and back. To the side. Step forward. Step back. Try to lead with alternate legs. March on the spot. Side step side. Round to the circle. Promenade. the square and back and back group of wall exercises aims to help strength and balance. Stand up against a firm, slippery wall. Feet placed a comfortable distance out from the wall, preferably with your socks off. Bend the knees, one and two. Rise, one and two. Down. Down. Breathe 
in and push away from the wall and return. Swing back, off the wall and return. stretch, breathe in, breathe out. Get ready for a wall push and back and swing through. For this routine, find a firm, comfortable surface or the floor. These exercises will help to make it easier to move around in bed and to ease back stiffness. As you roll, remember to lead the movement with your head. You may need someone to help you with this routine. Begin by lying on your back with your knees bent. With these exercises, if you can, Try to separate out the upper trunk movements from the lower trunk movements. Move into knee rolls, gently rolling your knees from side to side, keeping the upper body still. and forwards, leading the movement with the head. over 
over onto the left side, rolling the upper trunk backwards and forwards. Remembering to lead with the head, bring in the shoulder movements. above the head and down. Arm lifts above the head and down. Move into pelvic tilt. Flatten the lower back, feeling the waistband touch the floor. Flatten and relax. Flatten and relax. Straighten the right leg. Return. Left and return. Repeat. Straighten and return. Knee to chest. Return. Left to chest. Return. shoulder blade is part of the movement. Back to the center. Continue with the knee rolls. Upper trunk still. Relax into the roll. to the left. Upper trunk rolls. Lower leg still. Lead with the head. Enjoy the movement. Rolling back to the center. Breathing in on the lift, out on the return. Breathing in on the lift, out on the return. With all the arm lifts, try to focus on the breathing. Make it as full a breath in as is possible. And relax your arms by your side. to relax in our busy world is very important. It may be that you prefer to end your exercise session with a short relaxation, or perhaps you prefer an alternative time in your day when you can set aside a few moments to be still and quiet. Right now I'm going to talk you through a relaxation session. 
It's time for you to tune in with yourself, a quiet time, a time to recharge your battery. You can choose to sit in a chair or if you prefer you can lie on a folded blanket on the floor with pillows under the head and knees. You may need to cover yourself with a blanket if it's a cool day. Arrange yourself symmetrically, that is with hands resting comfortably in your lap or on your thighs if you're sitting in a chair. Or if you're lying down, have the arms a comfortable distance from the body, the knees slightly bent resting on pillows the head centered also on a pillow. Just allow your eyes to close as you take three deep breaths. Begin with a big sigh and then breathe in deeply. Repeat this three times more. Each time you sigh the air out, be aware of the tensions of the day flowing out through the hands and the feet. Now allow the breathing to settle and turn your attention to your body. You will observe that the sensations from your body are constantly changing. Sometimes the body moves easily, sometimes it is more of an effort. Allow yourself now to gently begin to relax the body. Focus your attention on your right arm. Allow the hand and fingers to soften, the wrist and elbow to be loose, the upper arm and shoulder to let go. As you think of each body part, the muscles will release and relax, helping you to relax more deeply. Be aware of the right side of the chest, the gentle rhythmical movements of breathing, as you allow the breathing to find its own pace. Focus your attention now on the buttock and hip, allowing the muscles to be soft and loose the thigh relaxing, the knee soft, the calf letting go, and the ankle and foot soft and loose. The whole of the right side of the body relaxed. Focus your attention on the left side now, on the left arm. Allow the hands and fingers to be soft, the wrist and elbow loose, the upper arm and shoulder letting go. As you think of each of the body parts, the muscles will release and relax, helping you to relax more deeply. Be aware of the left side of the chest, the gentle rhythmical movements of your breathing, as you allow the breathing to find its own pace. Focus your attention now on the buttock and hip. Allow the muscles to be soft and loose the thigh relaxing, the knee soft, the calf letting go, ankle and foot soft and loose, whole of the left side of the body relaxed. Now be aware of the area of your tummy. This is a place we often store a lot of tension. Allow the tummy to soften, the muscles to release and relax. As you move up the front of your body with your attention, notice the gentle rise and fall of the chest. Allow your throat to relax. Perhaps you would like to swallow to relax the throat muscles. Focus your attention on your face. Be aware of softening the jaw so it is loose, the little muscles around the eyes letting go. Softening the muscles between the eyebrows having a feeling of smoothness and softness in the face. Now move your attention to the back of your neck. Allow those muscles to soften, relax, releasing them more and more. Focus on your back muscles, allowing them to be loose and soft as you feel your body supported by the chair or by the floor. The whole body is now soft and relaxed. Turn your attention gently to becoming aware of your mind. The thoughts sometimes come thick and fast, or they may gently fall into your mind in a slow stream. 
Often your thoughts jump from one idea to another with great rapidity. It's helpful to think of the mind as being like the beach. Sometimes the waves or thoughts just gently lap. Sometimes the waves are big, the thoughts are big, tumbling in in quick succession. The main thing to be aware of is that there's no necessity to get caught up in it at all. Allow the thoughts to pass through your mind like trains through a station. You are simply the observer. Now spend a few moments being quiet, calm and peaceful, relaxing, listening to the music until you hear my voice again. Gradually become aware of your breathing and make a conscious effort to deepen it. Become aware of any sounds around you. Be aware of the room you are in, the way you are sitting or lying. Begin to open and close the fingers. Wiggle the feet. And when you are ready to open the eyes, have a stretch and be present in the room, wide awake, feeling fine feeling better than before.